everyone welcome back to my channel so I'm gonna do a really I think it's gonna be a long one it's gonna be a collective haul I have some miscellaneous stuff a little bit of makeup mostly clothing um, and some things I got from the Dollar Tree and Ulta Ulta is my that's my first time ever going to Ulta to shop and it was an experience I needed some skincare and some little other things and yeah so let's get into it I'm thinking I should just show you makeup since it's not so much um, Let's go with what I got recently. I got the contour powders from Makeup Geek. And I guess I could show you. I'm planning on doing a demo video with this. Um, excuse me if you hear noise downstairs because all the grandchildren are downstairs. My nieces and nephews, they're all downstairs making so much noise. And I just don't have time to record like I used to. And uh, so I'm trying to get this video out. Um, so I got the Makeup Geek contour pads. As soon as they came out, I was like, finally, something new to contour with, because I always use um, the Anastasia stuff. So I got a uh, Warm Deep Deal Breaker, which is this one right here. I have that contour today. And then I got the Cool Deep, which is Scandal. Okay, so I'm wearing Warm Deep, as you can see. It cuts, it chisels, it's so nice. I used it all over and, you know, beat my face it's so nice I like it um then I got cherry cherry cola because ever since she came out with this I wanted it it's been out of stock and now I finally got it so thank you Lord Jesus um my sister got me because it's like everywhere um I think I was looking on not Lady Moss where's that site that has like really good lashes for cheap um like red, red cherry lashes and um creme lashes uh, what is the name? It escapes me, but they basically sell LA Girl stuff on there. And, um, but my sister got this from the local beauty supply shop. And she saw it, and she knew I wanted it. And this is the Orange Corrector Pro Conceal by LA Girl. Orange Corrector, yes. Um, what else? Next is gonna be, I'm gonna, you know what, let me do Ulta, then I'll find the other one. So I went to Ulta in Regal Park, because that's the only one near me. And I didn't know we had Ulta in New York. I thought it was an L.A. thing. And, you know, I, I I seem to amaze myself all the time finding these new things in New York. So, I got Nip and Fab because it's the most inexpensive. I needed, to, I needed to step on my skincare routine. Like, I really need to take care of my, my, you know, my skin. And I just didn't have a routine. All I did was either scrub and use, like, a Neutrogena face wash. And, you know, so I'm starting to get into masks and all this other chemically good stuff. This is glycolic cleansing fix by Nip and Fab and I have been using it for the last two weeks um, not as consistently as I should but I have been using it I haven't used this yet this is the mask the same line glycoric mask um, then I also got the glycoric uh, scrub which I have been using pretty much a lot and yeah those are oh, one more thing from Ulta I got a new highlight as you can probably see. But I added um, Becca Topaz on top of it. But I have been rocking this one a lot. This is the Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer. I was supposed to go to King's Plaza to get me another... Um, well, well, it's an eyeshadow. Um, but it's a... I, people use that as highlight from Kiko. So um, I was supposed to go do that today. But, you know, things change. This is the Tantalizer Baked Bronzer by Lorac. I almost dropped it. You saw that? <laughs> but caught it. Alright. Um... It's so nice. Like, it gives you a nice, um, natural glow, which I can appreciate. I love it. Then, um, on the way back from work, I picked up this from Rite Aid. It's the Matte and Coreless. Finally, like, this is, I always go for the darkest shade ever in drugstore foundation because I'm like, but the drugstore, I need to learn that drugstore foundations and beauty products have upgraded since way back when because this was an actual really dead on good match for me and um, I love it so much. It applies just like the regular line and then it just, it's matte and I'm like, oh my god, I wanted that for so long and drugstore never gave me that and I have it now. This is Cafe Concealer by Maybelline, fit me as well and demo is coming i've been i have this for like two weeks now like I, I was supposed to do a demo a long time ago but this 
I love it. I should get backups. If this ever goes out of stock, I'll get like eight bottles back up because this is so inexpensive. It's like seven dollars and change, and it's so good. This was a uh, during that time, Bright Aid was having buy one get one half off. So love it. I'm like missing Breaking Bad right now. Like I'm rewatching it with my sister. Like. <sighs> I need to go or do this all and go back to the more important things in life, like watching awesome TV shows. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so I got a few things from Mac because they're awesome, and I've needed. I still need to go get um some inserts and other things. It's just two little things. I don't know why I have that huge box. So I got. Film New York and Sketch from their website. So this is Film New York and this is Sketch. As you can see, Sketches has more purple in it than this one. I think this will be a nice contour powder and I can't wait to try that as a contour powder. Yes. Yes. And it's supposed to be a blush, but like, I think a blush for my skin tone because it's going to contour really nicely. All these contour products are just, I'm so excited to try them. So I haven't used these yet. I can't wait. So I'm going to show you a few things I got from Walmart because Walmart is awesome. I didn't have any like hangers. Like when I was washing clothes and hanging them, I was like, where are my hangers? So I got some and I got this for $1.98 for 18 hangers and that's why I love Walmart. It's just on my stuff. I got some Stay Away Caffeine Alertness Aids, so like caffeine pills because those 18 hour shifts are not the bomb.com. They are the worst. I got me some watermelons. Sour Patch Watermelon Candy because it's my favorite kind of Sour Patch. I don't go for the Sour Patch, I go for the Watermelon because they taste so good. So good. And I've been loving mac and cheese so much lately. It's not, it's not helping my cause, man, because this has so much sodium and all that stuff. And I was like, I'll just get this to eat on once in a while and just, because I'm really trying to reel myself back. Because I'm gaining and you know the shovels, you know the shovels. But yeah, I love mac and cheese, and this looks delicious. And I saw it for like two fifty. So, yeah, all right. Next, I got a new iPad case because the one I had for so long was weird, tearing, and dying. I got this from eBay for like eleven and change. I could put the link down below. It's so noise. I like how it looks. It's pink and gray, and it's just ideal. It comes with a stand like that. I love it. It's cute. My iPad is looking cute again. So I like that. I got myself a new phone case. I wanted something black. Nothing that was stained because this will always be in my hands. You know, so I'd rather go with black and pink than what, what my previous case looked like. And it was like white and pink. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Damn, I see these loud and those all the good scenes in Breaking Bad. Okay. Distracted. All right, so I got me, you know, now I'm going into Dollar Tree. I'm so mad. Is it, is it only me or only in New York that all the deals are turning into Dollar Tree? Like, Dollar Tree is like not as good as Deal. Deal has like food, everything in it, and calendars and organizer books and school supplies. They have everything, and all the deals are changing into Dollar Tree all over Brooklyn. And I'm, I don't know if they're going out of business all over the. US or whatever, but that's upsetting. But anyway, I went to Dollar Tree. I got a, I guess you call this like a do rag, a headscarf, and you wrap around your head. This is what I wear pretty much every night. I got that for a dollar, of course. Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar. I got um, a hair bonnet. I got these lashes. They looked cool. They looked like the, um, what are these people? I have it right here. Those lashes that I always wear, and they're so dramatic and full. And Oh, what is the name? I'll put annotations in the video, but um, this looks really familiar. It's a dollar. Love it. Awesome. I have makeup wipes because I haven't used makeup wipes in a long while. All I do is use all olive oil to take off my makeup, so it's like, okay, let me just get that. And, oh, I was supposed to show this in the last haul, and I never did. I got new eye contacts, a different color. That's the, you know, lens case. And, um, I can't wait to wear this because I was, I was like, I'm not going to wear it until I haul it because I wanted to haul it. I, if they're called puffy, I go to honey color for all my eye contacts. Um, it's like, it's gray. I like gray. As you can tell, this one is like, it is gray, but it has tints of blue in it. But, um, 
I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this at all, but that's the best I can do, y'all. Upcoming videos after this, I'll probably be wearing it. Um, I got me cable micro USB. I don't know why I got this, but it's a dollar and um it's like another phone charger for me, so or you know, whatever it is. But it looks so cute, it's blue, it's like a sky blue kind of color, it matches my hangers. Um, I got cotton rounds because I'm running out. I got me another book, um, little spiral book because with this, when I go to work, I take vitals, I write down what the patient eats, I write pretty much whatever is going on during the shift and put my time and everything. I write everything down for every shift. So I got me another one because the other one is an old one from school when I was doing clinicals and it's running out. So I got another one. Dollar Tree is awesome like that because I just get my stuff easily for a dollar. And then this brush. <gasps> this is the Morphe brush, the M47, M457, why did it break like that? I barely only used this once. But anyway, this is a dual fiber brush that's really compact and thick and also for, for liquid formation. And um, I really love it, maybe I could get it replaced, but what? Okay, I'm not even going to pull it, that was traumatized then. I didn't even... You the only one. So why are you breaking on me? But anyway, this brush is pretty good. Um, then I got some, I forgot when I went to Manhattan, and I saw this, like, little boutique that sells, like, natural stuff, like, um, a Sabon, I think that's probably the name of the company. This is, um, like, Shea Butter, like, OG Shea this, Butter. The store is called Shea Bon. This is also body lotion and it comes in a tube like this this is um, with olive oil and avocado avocado oil okay paycheck lavender etc 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 it smells good and also from well before I got my blue hangers I just got a pack of six for a dollar from um, Dollar Tree so yeah if you're curious to know, I am wearing less lip gloss, just that, and the new Cherry Color um, Makeup Geek eyeshadow on my crease, and some two other Makeup Geek shadow on my lid. That's what I'm pretty much wearing today, and Goddess's Lashes, and that's my makeup look for today. I haven't worn makeup in a minute. I'm kind of loving this right now. Next is a new purchase, kind of like you know, but not really. It depends on what expensive is to you. But um, this I got this. I got this for my birthday. My birthday is gonna be you know, on the 25th of February. It's coming up soon. And um, I got some ASOS. I was like, I want a trench coat. I don't have a trench coat. Why don't I have a trench coat in my life, in my closet, in my wardrobe? And I love how it looks. So I got this. this is like a mix between camel and stone, like how they describe it. Um, this was $77. It was on sale for $77. And I just love the detail of it. Um, I'm definitely going to do an Instagram post with this because I love it. I love the detail. I love how it has that one button in the back. And the, the cuffs are really... It's really nice. I like... I like how it looks. It's just giving me all oh my... I don't want to miss anything. That's what I hate. When you do hauls, you're like, oh, I was supposed to haul this. And I didn't haul it. How upsetting. Um... On to the clothes. So I went to Gap because I wanted to pick out like some school wear. I'm back in college again taking my uh, courses for RN. And um, I don't have some nice sweater. It's 20 degrees outside of New York. It is freaking cold. Like when I look at um, like Snapchats of people in Los Angeles and they're like, oh, it's so cold. It's uh, 50 degrees. And I'm like, I wish we had 50 degrees in New York. Like, it's freaking freezing. Like, frostbite, your ears and fingers are about to fall off. Anyway, I needed some sweaters. So I went to Gap, and I got this cute blue one. It was on sale. I went to the Gap on, um, this was what, $10, $15? Because um, originally $42. Um, there's a Gap factory in Fulton Street. Yes, Fulton Street. And that's where me and my sister went shopping. I got this card again. I forgot I got this. I haven't looked in these bags for a while. This is so me. I love it. Like gray and... Oh, 
I love the simplicity of a cardigan, especially a really good quality thick one for this winter. Yes. This shirt is also new too. I got this um, at Old Navy, which I'm going to show you right after Gap. Um, so yeah, it's just a cardigan. And it's really nice. I, I, I love I love how they did it. The ends are gray. I like I love how they did the sweater. Is this H&M? Oh yeah, I did go shopping at H&M. Yes, I did. I'm going to show you Old Navy because I said that was what I was going to show next. I got this lovely sweater. This sweater was 12 bucks, And it looks so comfy. It's a large. It's a little big on me because I, I wanted to go for medium. That's my shirt size. But this, this fits I. It's like snug. It's snug and nice. I like it. Um, I love the pattern. I love the color. It's just everything to me. It's nice. Um, uh, what's next? I got another cardigan. A dark gray one. Like I need cardigans to wear over my... Ooh. Hey, come back. Okay. I got a few cardigans because I want to wear them over my scrubs when I'm at work and... So yeah, it's okay. Hopefully the angle doesn't look too off. I just changed the battery. Um, yeah, what was I doing? I was showing you some other stuff. There we go. Okay, Old Navy. Um, also from Old Navy, I got just a basic black shirt. This was I think two bucks from Clarence um, because it'd be cold and I need to wear something under my scrub. So there we go. I got me another sweater. It looks a little bit Christmassy, but I like the thickness and I like the design of it. It's a medium. It looks a little bit. Oh, oh, Walmart. Let me go back to Walmart. I got some clothes from there. I got some beige pants because I had the, like I had tan beige pants from H and M. I don't know where the hell they went. I feel like last year summer was that no 2014 summer when I took a trip to Houston. I think I left them there because those I love those pants. I always wear black pants. Um, this is no mood, no boundaries. Um, it was a good price. This was $7.78 from Walmart. And I didn't know Walmart sells clothes like this. So, yes. And I don't have like washout jean patterns like this. Um, I wanted jeans like this. And they have like a jegging kind of style at Walmart. These are from Lay, L E I. And I got them in extra large because honestly, you can't be shopping. You can't shop with the same, like if let's say you're size 12, I'm a size 12. I can't go there to another brand and be like, oh, I'm a size 12. Let me go pick these up because they could be extremely small, extremely big. You just have to eyeball them and see what it is. But this fits pretty well. <sighs> this was, um... This was, uh, they tried to sell me for full price on this. I was like, excuse me, no. It's on sale over there for like $9. Can you, you know, see the tag and let me get it for $9? I was not going to pay full price. <clears throat> I like my sales, okay. So this was, um, it's $16.88 originally, but I got it for 9 Next, I went to H&M and I got this lovely sweater. They had it on sale. It's kind of like, it's a short sweater, which I don't like. Like, you could see... Like, it's not long all the way down to the hips, like, but it's, you know, I still wanted it. This was 10 bucks. They had it, a bunch of these in different colors for 10 bucks. I got another one in the red because I don't have a red sweater. I don't wear pops of color like that, but this looks so cute because I had a hint of blue through the thread and it's like blue and red. But when you look from a distance, it looks like red, but it has streaks of navy in it and I love it. Is that all? Cereal? Is she serious? Is that everything? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm, I'm always forgetting something. Oh my god, I hope you're not hearing the TV throughout this video. You... <sighs> okay, <laughs> calm down. Bring it down a little. Bring it down. Yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. I'm so random. I hope you guys uh, like this video. And if you happen to like it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you haven't, do subscribe because it helps out a lot. I want you guys to come back and always watch my videos and. I love you so much. Thanks for supporting my channel. I'll see you in another video. Bye.